<laughs> All right, so uh, welcome everyone. Uh, this is the um, Oshimoshi podcast um, where we're focusing mostly on uh, Japanese idols and uh, the news and culture. Um, and uh, right now we're just going to be focusing um, on sort of uh, 48 and 46 stuff. Um, but there's a possibility that that might uh, expand in the future. Um, so I guess to start things off, uh, we'll just intro everyone. Um, with me is uh, Maris. Hey. Uh, That's Maris, me. you want to like uh, give us a uh, quick intro, like your areas of expertise, your whatever. My expertise, I am expert. I, I, I'm not an expert on anything. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, well, I wouldn't Life. call myself, no, but I wouldn't call myself an expert. That's like a bit too much, right? Uh, yeah, I normally uh, tweet about Kekazaka 46. That's mo mainly my thing. Um, that's the only thing I kind of know a lot about. Uh, other than that, it's just like old school morning musume. So yeah, I'll probably just talk a little bit about Kakizaka and uh, ask questions because I don't understand 48. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, so, uh, I mean, Maris is the most popular of us. She got them no, followers. No, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. She got them followers. What are you talking about? Uh, got them followers. So, um, I mean, damn. I don't know. I don't know how that <laughs> happened. Like, really, I don't know why people follow me. Uh, I don't understand. I am not the person that brings the news to people because I'm always late. Uh, so, like, I don't know. Like, if you want to see Kegzaka news, just, like, follow Mitch, like, too much idea or someone. Like, yeah. don't follow me. But if you want to see, like, me ranting about Kegzaka, then I guess follow me. <laughs> <laughs> So um, if you follow Maris, actually, like you'll know who her Oshiman is, I think. <laughs> why don't you tell, why don't you tell everyone else uh, who might not know? Maris? I'm very basic. So my, my Oshiman is Hirate Yurina. Um, Te Jesus, God idol, Jesus idol, idol Jesus, whatever you want to call her. Uh, Brett, Hibiki, I don't know. Um, yeah, so she's she's not around, but she'll come back. I'm, I believe in it. I believe in Jesus. So uh, <laughs> yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. But I I pretty much love all all the members. Like it's hard for me to not love them. They're all so lovely. I'm pretty much a DD or she kind of a situation, you know. Yeah, for Keaki. I I don't know enough about Nogi to make a decision yet, but mm -hmm. yeah, for Keaki is Hirate and then everyone else. If you look at my list of, of Oshimans, it's very much like that. Yeah. Everyone else is tied. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I so actually like, have like a question for like both of you, but I think first like we're going to move on to uh, Mina. Mina? Uh, Mina. <laughs> Mina. 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 Okay, right, hey, uh, okay. so my name's Mina. Yeah, I'm the only one from Canada, but like, hi. <laughs> so uh, my expertise, I mostly follow, I follow, I try to update myself on all the groups, but I mostly follow in SKE, MNL48, Ki uh, Kiyazaka. I follow a little bit of Nogi, too. And I'm currently updating Produce48, so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, so why don't you give us like some of some of your Oshis? I mean I'm sure you My know. Oshis? Yeah, so sure my Kaki Oshi is Matsu Jirina. Okay. Since, Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. And then my forty six Kami Oshi is Ikta Erika san. So Okay. Alright, alright. I have a forty eight. But I like all the members, so I have a lot of Oshis. <laughs> Those are the ones I made. <laughs> oh and Nijika. Nijika. You Can't forget Nijika. Nijika. Yeah, need to cut her. Okay, yeah, I love need to cut her. I have to. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Uh, my Twitter is mostly like random Twice. stuff. Yeah, I'm a like, yeah. If you don't know me, I'm a huge Twice fan. I mean, yeah. I, some people can figure it out from your name. Well, oh, my name is Mina. So, like my my Oshi is Mina, so like yeah. All right, all right. Um, so I guess um, for anyone who doesn't know me, which is going to be most people, 
Um, I am at Wea Bookstore on Twitter. Um, Weebs. Yeah, uh, you can some. I mean, you can call me Matthew. I guess I'm not usually comfortable with people calling me that on the internet, but mm. uh, yeah, I mean, you can call me whatever you want. Actually, um, Mina cut out for a second there. That was weird. I did. Um, I was like, I'm dying. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. Hi. Uh, I guess uh, I got my start um, in uh, the sort of 48, 46 stuff um, by uh, subbing Nogi Doko. Um, Nogi Zakate hey. Doko. Uh, and um, yeah, and so I did that, except I w it was from like Indo to English. And like, and they're, like, they're all like purposely bad. Like, yeah. <laughs> Like if you if you if you if you watch my stuff, like I want you to feel like you regret watching me. I don't know. <laughs> that, I don't know why I wanted that, but that's the way it was. It probably won't be that way in the future if I ever pick it up again, which I'm planning to. But again, um, I also uh, did some blog translations for Morning Musume. Um, Yay, Morning Musume. Yeah. Uh, and so yeah, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty all around. Um, uh, with the, the Japanese stuff and the Korean stuff. So we're going to be talking a little bit about Produce 48 um, in this show, uh, in this episode and in the future. Excited. Um, and so I, I think that uh, having that experience um, will add something, uh, however little or not. Um, so yeah, so I had a, a question um, just before we get into like actual idol stuff for both of you. Um, just like, uh, I guess sort of like what, like when I asked you to join or when we sort of came together, like what exactly did you want out of this podcast? What did you think you could contribute? That sort of thing. Um, what do you want to be? Uh, like, what do you want this to be? Let's, we'll start with Maris. Oh boy. Um, I think the first thing I thought was there are very little there are not a lot of podcasts that talk about Japanese idols and have girls on it. In it, they're like just regular members, and I feel like I don't know. Like I look at my Twitter analytics sometimes, um, which is very skewed, by the way. Like I don't, I don't believe in it like a hundred percent. But there's a lot of. Uh, I, I think I have more female followers than I have male followers, um, and it's just like. I always felt like there was just not enough uh, voices there. So yeah, that was mostly what I expected from from being a podcast like this. Um, yeah, that's that might be like my. Own. I mean, I do want to talk about Kakizaka. I, I do think like a lot of the times uh, people don't understand what I'm saying on Twitter, or there's not enough characters for me to express my opinions so being a podcast really helps and of course like I do not know a lot about Nogi or, or 48 I guess and this would be like a nice place to just ask dumb questions and hopefully get some answers yeah <laughs> yeah um so what about what about you Mina well I mean me yeah, go ahead. um I feel like the the reason why I got back, because like I, I've known Forty Eight since twenty twelve, I think twenty twelve, and I kind of left because of Renda's grad. So I just I need to update. I missed a lot <laughs> in two years span. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to, and also I just wanted to, like as Marcy said, just to expand the knowledge of idols, and I just want to know more idols. Yeah. So uh... underground and stuff. So. So it might it might seem from this, these answers that uh, the three of us aren't exactly the most knowledgeable people, um, but uh, so the plan from here is that um, uh, Maris, Mina, and I are going to sort of be the core cast of this. But um, I have talked to a lot of people um, who know a bit more than us um, in sort of different fields, uh, and so the idea is that we could get those people on. Um, potentially every week. Uh, next week we have uh, a friend called a friend named Cher coming in, um, who is, uh, in my experience, a very encyclopedic person when it comes to just She's the, knowledgeable. Whole, the whole <laughs> idol scene. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, I guess, um, a little bit about us. Um, I guess we can sort of go in. Paul says my mic is kind of quiet. Uh, is it? I, don't, I can't hear the stream. <laughs> yeah, for me, it just sound perfect, actually. Just, you all sound the same to me. All right, yeah. I'll try. I'll Same try to speak loud. a little bit louder. Maybe that'll maybe that'll work. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, and so I guess yeah, we can start going into things. Um, we'll start with some like uh, some recent news. I think we can. We I think we should start um, with Kiyaki Zaka. Uh, so if Maris, you want to take that. Sure. So Kiyaki news of the week. Um, I think I'm gonna start with. Hit our gun aside because there's okay. Should, should I go like one is Kanji Keaki and the other one is Hiragana Keaki? <laughs> so I'm gonna start with like Hiragana Keaki news. Um, uh, they, they're about to release an album called uh, uh, uh Has Shunkan, and they're starting to release their uh MVs and songs and. Oh, last week, I guess, yeah, I think it was like Monday or something, they released uh, their first MV for Kitai uh, in Aijibun. Um, and it's such a beautiful video. I don't know if you guys saw it. It's really, really well oh, shot. Of course. <laughs> it's super well shot. Yeah. Um, you have Sasaki Mire is is the the main uh the center of yeah, the I single i didn't say my oshis but mirei is actually my hair kind of oshi, so yeah i mean she's she's definitely like i could see that coming right because she was like kind of center in imanimi and, and you know people were kind of like yeah people were really pushing her like first gen i feel like it was it, it had to be mirei if it was like second gen it would probably be kosaka now but mm -hmm. yeah, first gen, yeah, it's totally since I can meet it. And she did like such a good job. Like I, I felt like, I felt like her expressions were really good in the in the in the video, because like it's Kiyakizaka at the end of the day, right? Mm -hmm. So they need like that that anger, you know, <laughs> that that kind of like emotion. And I think like she did it, she did it pretty well. Um, and I don't know, I just felt like the, the video was really well shot. Like, there's a scene where they're waiting for, like, a door to open, they all have their costumes, and I swear, like, I felt stuff. Like, I felt things. It hit me, me in the feels when I saw them like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is it, the music itself, like, I don't really remember the music, if you ask me. <laughs> like, the MP is very memorable, but, like, the music, the song that they're playing is just, like, I don't think it's like my song because like mm -hmm. I don't know how to sing it. Like, it's not memorable, but the 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 video definitely is. It's a very very pretty video. Yeah. So that's like the first thing about Hiragana. I'll just go quickly over the other things. Uh, yesterday there was a showroom uh, with some Hiragana members and some kanji members together. Um, and I'll cover the country news after, but we got finally official uh, confirmation that Sasaki Kumi is uh, Hiragana's captain. Yeah, so I'm actually a double Sasaki Yoshi. Oh, oh so it's like it's double like, great for Christmas. you. <laughs> You're like, yes. Well, I, I mean, it was already like we knew that yeah. Kumi was was the captain. Uh, I'm just disappointed that we don't have a sub-captain because that would be Katoshi. I feel like it would be Katoshi. Uh, and we all need Katoshi being sub-captain because she's insane. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was just a confirmation um, that, that she is a captain. And I mean, I, I don't even think the Hiragana girls were like, shocked by it it was just like a moment that it just he got announced and it passed and it was like hey i'm captain whatever you know mm -hmm. just really really low-key like not a lot of like party like happened there it was just like very very subdued mm -hmm. i guess um yeah and then uh the sad news for for hiragana is that kageyama yuka is taking a break yeah um she's 
taking some time to like study. Uh, it's pretty much what I guess uh, Awe is doing on Kanji. She's just taking yeah. some time to like focus on her studies, and I think she wants to get to like Tokyo University, and I guess it's like super challenging. That's, that's, I guess. A, that's a national university, and I don't think any any idol in like forty forty six has ever uh, been in national university and been an idol at the same time. So. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how they're going to do this. Uh, I hope they get it. I hope they... I, I, I like when idols are thinking about their future uh, outside of, like, their own groups, of course. Because um, it's always hard for, for idols to, like, get stuff, like, jobs after they they graduate, right? Mm -hmm. If you're not, if you're not, like, I don't know, like, super huge, right? If you're not, like, an Achang or, like... Kirata is probably fine too, like when she graduates. But yeah, I just like to see that they're they're you know looking looking to their future as well. Um, but it's sad, it's sad that she's gonna miss the tour probably, and it's gonna be the tour of the, her first album. So it's kind of sad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I just wish all the best. I think it's cool that you want to focus on your studies. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just to like relate to like. Uh, AKB, like, um, Nishino Miki has been talked about a lot, um, recently. Uh, she graduated, I think, uh, not that long ago, maybe two years ago, like, the, the longest. Um, but, uh, because she, she went on a show, or she was interviewed for a show, uh, about how she's not, um, she's not exactly, like, happy in her post-grad life. Um, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. things are kind of tough. Uh, and she yeah. actually, I think, I believe she started a crowdfunding thing for herself Ooh. to, I don't make oh. a comeback or something. Um, I did not look into the details. Ooh, she sure she wants to come back. Now. I, I don't know if she wants to come back to AKB, but like to make some sort of like entertainment comeback. Um, oh. But yeah, that's something to look into. Uh, yeah, and I think like if you're not like a super big idol already. I mean, like on the Nogi side, like Shirai Shimai would be fine and like Nanase would be fine. But like if you're just one of those idols that are not like top, like spotlight, it's mm -hmm. very hard, right? Yeah. After you graduate, because you, you know how to be an idol your entire life and then yeah. all of a sudden you're not an idol and what do you do, right? If, if the entertainment industry is not giving you the opportunity to do something, then you have to try something else. I heard like there was someone that was working on a cafeteria the other day. Uh, I don't know if it's the same girl, but so I think she was like a 48 girl too. Yeah, um, so Nishino, she just had I talked about like she was working at like a barbecue place. Um, mm -hmm. and no, like, so that's uh, what there's actually a, there's actually like a chain of restaurants or maybe it's just one that's um, founded by a former 48 member um, Uchida Mayumi I think uh, mm -hmm. and like I remember she like made a point of like hiring former idols um, oh uh, she knows the struggle I guess yeah like, I feel like you need to establish yourself first yeah. before like graduating but like some members just leave because it, they feel like it's time for them yeah but the thing with me because they want they want new gen she kind of had to leave because of scandal yeah um, i know <laughs> and then the, yeah she had the, to leave yeah and then nanya awada nana who was also in the same scandal is doing fine and it just makes it a little bit more sad <sighs> was was it a crazy scandal um, they uh, were minors, and they were out past just... curfew with boys. Yeah. Oh, that was, I see. Yeah. That was it. So. But I feel like the scandals kill the idols. I feel... Don't even I get me. Yes. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll this. eventually have <laughs> okay, a whole thing. Okay, that's a different topic. Eventually <laughs> we'll have a whole thing about scandals, and dating, you guys can all go off. The dating was a different topic. You guys can but all like... go off eventually. We'll have, we'll, have, okay, we'll I, have that episode eventually. For me, I feel like... Okay, when you first start, it's okay. I guess that's okay to do the dating. But, like, after three years, or, like, after, like, they're, like, a certain age, I feel like they should have freedom, too. But, like, the only thing management would say is that, like, oh, they need to be pure. Because, yeah. you know, some <laughs> fans are crazy, right? They'll do, like, anything for their oshi. So, so. I, I, so I really think we need to shelve this. 
just because we yeah, can get like, really into it, this. I don't want to compare it, but like for K-pop, <laughs> they're, they're, they have a three-year yeah. band yeah, we'll for dating, but like after that, it's fine. So I feel like it should be the same. Like, if they, if so, if, yes. You, no, I was just can... going to say that if we start talking about this, yeah. I won't talk in like 30 minutes. That's my opinion, because I feel like if, if they love someone, wouldn't you be happy for them? Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, that, that's <laughs> most of us. Like, we'll be like, oh, of course, like, oh, great, they found someone they love, but, like, some fans are just like, no, she's mine. So I just feel like management just like, okay, we'll just do a no dating ban for, yeah. like, your entire idol life. We'll, we'll go into detail on some some later episode, all right? All right? Yeah. Okay, okay I'm done. Okay. <laughs> um, what I to say. Was there more kanji news? Yeah, kanji news is, uh, there's not a lot of kanji news, because kanji is, I, I don't want to say kanji is dead, but kanji is kind of dead right now. <laughs> <laughs> for lack of a better word like they haven't been doing much and you know there's just i don't know it's just sad stuff that happens to country lately yeah. so um yeah on the good news though uh yuka is releasing her pv uh her first photo book it's called fiance and i think it comes out like tomorrow or something um she has like a really cool twitter page where she puts like random i don't know random videos of her doing like random good. stuff it's good. It's really good. Good. Oh my god, I can't yeah. wait. <laughs> yeah. So, like, if you're a Yuka fan, you're probably like already mm-hmm. following it. But if you're not, oh, please, yes. please do and you follow. Please follow it. it. Please follow it's it. Really please good. buy it's her really PV book too, please. Yeah, it's please really buy Yuka's PV. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. And if you want to see, if you want to see Yuka and some horses, probably, and if you want to see Yuka and Tom, <laughs> her cats. <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. bikini. But come on, you. We all just want to see you can horses. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So support uh, Kaki's captain, please, because she she's a ponko too, but she's great. So yeah. yeah. Yes. And the last news is uh, we finally got yesterday on the the showroom um, stream that they did. That we're getting a Khaki Republic this year, so yeah, I, I know a lot of people were waiting for that. So. Oh boy, um, <laughs> it was. I mean, I still want to see the old Khaki Republic because what they did, they released like this teaser of uh, of Khaki Republic. They're like, oh yeah, Khaki Republic is gonna happen in July, for three days. I think it's like twenty twenty one twenty two, mm-hmm. um, and. They they put out this teaser with like videos of the actual the, the last Khaki Republic, but then we never saw that DVD and everything about that DVD just looks so sick and great and amazing and we never saw it. Uh, but yeah, Khaki Republic is happening again. It's a big a big concert for Khaki Zaka, um, and we might see Hirate again there. I'm pretty sure we're going to see Hirate Yurina back. Um, at, at Khaki Republic. If she doesn't come back, then I'm uh, That's she's, it, guys. She's out. She, 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 she <laughs> had my time. We gotta go fam. <laughs> I just really don't know what to do anymore if she doesn't come back for Khaki Republic. Because no, she doesn't... She yeah, she, she, she's she finishing her movie. Uh, I guess she finished her movie because it was like this week. And I mean, she, there's no reason for her not to be there. Uh, and Kanji would kind of need, like, Kanji needs Hirate back. I, I feel like, like, they've been in such a bad spot for the past, like, months, right? Uh, with Manaka leaving, well, not leaving, but uh, being on hi- hiatus, and Aoi also not present, and Hirate is also not present. Uh, they did their second anniversary without two members, right? So it's kind of sad. So they kind of need that bump again, like they need the energy back and bringing Hirate back for that would be perfect. Please come back, Nichi. Yeah. I love you so much. Please come back. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's that's about it. That's all the characters. Yeah, before we uh, move on, I kinda wanted to circle back to um the Hiragana music video. Yeah, uh, sure. If if there was like one person that you would pick for center that wasn't Mire, like from first gen and from second gen. What do you think? First gen? Hmm. 
first gen, I mean, I, I really love Katoshi, of course, because mm-hmm. she's like my Oshime, but I think Mimi would do a yeah. really I was actually job. thinking that too, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even though even though I would love to see Toshi, of course, but I think Mimi would. I don't know. I think she could really carry the Keaki feeling for sure. Like every single time I've seen like a serious interview for Mimi, I've, I've been surprised by you know how how mature she is for her age. Um, okay. She's kind of like that that Tenchi situation because Tenchi yeah. is like way too mature for her age mm-hmm. and she, she's leaving strong, the struggle like pretty much that kid is like yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Mandy would be great and for second generation Kosaka now okay. 100% mm-hmm. yeah. yeah I agree <laughs> <laughs> okay. my hiragana oshi so <laughs> that was good who, who's your hiragana oshi <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Mina's cutting. But, yeah. Okay. Hmm? Is Mina cutting on your side? Yeah, Mina was uh, Hi. bumpy there. <laughs> my. Alright, she's my back. Memi. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Alright, All right. so um, I guess I can cover. Uh... What about you? What would you think? No, you I, see, I, I, I agree, Memi. Like, that's Memi. The, that's yeah, talking. yeah. Me and books are kind of talk about. It. He's like, yeah, and then you're like, yes, you pick, you pick my Oshi, you pick my Oshi. <laughs> uh, and then uh, from second gen, um, I mean, I feel yeah, I feel like Kosaka is getting a real push, um, so she's definitely a candidate. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, and I mean, I guess like there's a there's a lot of Hiragana twos that I really like, um, but I'm not sure. Like Paripi. Yeah, Paripi is nice. Paripi is nice. I don't know. I love. I just love Paripi. Yeah, I mean, I in like this, this. In this video, by the way, like at the beginning of the just, just really quick, the beginning of the video, they have like a showcase of um, um, talent, uh, skills. Yeah. yeah, which is which was really odd to me. Like that was the odd part of the video. Uh, I I I think it's fine when it's like menu with the ribbon and like when they were mm-hmm. using the baton thing but they're like i don't know like watanabe miho was like the basketball and now yeah. like they, playing, they just they have to give volleyball. Miho a basketball yeah like it just it just looked kind of silly like didn't fit i guess the style of the song like when they start running then the, the song like the empty really starts for me but i just need to give a shout out to putty p my girl when uh, she's in the, in, the, in the skill section, she just does a little yo. Because <laughs> that's her uh, skill. Yo. Her skill is rap. So she goes, like, Oh, yeah, true, true. Yeah. Her skill she's, is rap. She's just too fucking good for this life. Uh, I just love her so much. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, moving on to Nogizaka, um, I have a few things um, on right. the list here. Uh, the first was that I think um, I think it was over this last week. Um, Mob Psycho 100 had their international release, um, the live action uh, on mm-hmm. Netflix. Um, yeah. And so and Mob there's Psycho. There's a Girl there, right? What'd you say? There's a Nogi Girl there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Yoda Yuki, which is a third gen Nogi Zaka, um, is Yoda. was cast in Mob Psycho 100. Um, and mm-hmm. I mean, if you're. Uh, I mean, I won't say too much, but I mean, Yoda really does not add very much to the show. Oh, really? Yeah, she, like she's a regular, right? But yeah. She, oh, she, I see the show. She probably has. The- she probably has the uh, the least um, experienced performance, mm. um, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, but then also the least developed character. So. Um, mm-hmm. That's. I mean, I guess that's just sort of a. Uh, uh, Your opinion. Forewarning, if you're gonna watch. Forewarning. Like, I haven't I mean, watched it's not, it. So. It's not. It's not a bad drama at all. Like it's, it's decidedly very cheesy. Um, oh, sort of like okay. out there, like cheesy. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you've watched something like uh, Mina Esperdayo, which is the same thing, but like Arrow, her, um, yeah, it's about on par with that. Uh, on to idols. 
uh, because that's what we're here to talk about. Um, <laughs> Saito Asuka, uh, uh, she had a trailer drop for the movie she's going to be in. Um, I think it's coming this year. Um, it's Ano Koro Kimi wo Oikakete. You're the apple of my eye. Um, mm. Which was originally. Is that a... Okay, I was going to ask if that's a manga or, or an anime because I did <laughs> hear about it. It's actually um, uh, originally a Taiwanese movie oh. uh, that came out in 2011. Oh. What does it call? You're the apple of my eye. And yeah. Uh, and so okay. it looks like uh, a kind of straightforward, like uh, coming of age romance type of story. Um, but the trailer itself has like a lot of um, aggressive male tears. It's just very <laughs> dramatic. Uh, aggressive. So, so yeah. Um, and yeah. So uh, what else is going on? Um, yes. What else is going on? I have a question about this movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, was there a kissing scene in the trailer with Asuka? Ooh. Um, I oh, don't no, no, no. remember. I, I, there wasn't. Okay. All right. There wasn't a kissing scene. I, I, it just popped to me. That, yeah, that no, might be a big deal if there is in the movie. Though. Yeah, there's, there wasn't. Like, there wasn't. Asuka fans. I can send you the link. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Later. I'll send it later. <laughs> uh, I don't remember a kissing scene, so... I think, remember, oh I think you would remember. Oh my god! I think you would remember kissing. Yeah, scene. I didn't remember. It's, it's just that it's. I don't know. You you always like. I'm always like. I'm not scared of like seeing my idols kiss on like a screen. Of course, I don't even care about them kissing in real life. Of course, but like what I really, I'm always like scared of the the way that people interpret yeah. things. Like the fans oh, like seeing. Yeah. Okay. Idols kiss. So it's like. Oh boy! So like I, I kind of like read a little bit of Hibiki because that's where Techi is gonna um, mm-hmm. her movie as well, and I was just like, oh boy! Like I just hope they don't do this scene. <laughs> <'Cause>, um, <laughs> like cut the scene, cut the scene. Well, yeah, Hibiki is not that bad to be honest, but there are a few scenes that um, that I'm slightly kind of worried, um, yeah. like Mizuki Perfect. stuff. Yeah. Uh, we're losing Mina again. Yeah. Anyway, okay, she's um, back. yeah. So I mean, it's a. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I wonder how people like reacted to Nishino's whole, um, the whole show that mm. she had. Um, mm. I I haven't get, gotten a chance to watch it yet. Um, it's on my list, but uh, like I imagine like there are some things in there that uh, could play either way. Yeah, I've seen some sh- screenshots of uh, some scenes and uh... <laughs> oh, screenshots. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't watch the thing, right? So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So. Uh, yeah. So. Um. What are we going on? What's going on? Oh, so no, he's okay. Yeah. Um. Roddy, <laughs> Roddy, who uh, graduated recently, actually has. Um, a lot of stuff lined up for this month and the coming summer, um, which is just nice to see, uh, especially because um, she wasn't exactly like a very popular member in Ogizaka. Um, so it's cool to see that she's got some things lined up. Uh, she has a solo live, I think, sometime this month. Um, and then she was also cast in a stage play that's like Momotaro like, meets like Sentai which it seems interesting. Um, it's produced by Yoshimoto, so um, that might be a hint that, she w- that she's in Yoshimoto now, um, which oh. that's actually really good. Like, mm-hmm. Yoshimoto is one of, the biggest, uh, one of the biggest entertainment companies there. So, um, Also in uh, Nogizaki, you have uh, Sagara Iori and Saito Chiharu announced grad. Yeah, um, I heard about it. Yeah. Uh, which is, I mean, that's sad, of course. Yeah. Uh, Are they under uh, girls? Um, typically, yeah, they're usually under girls. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I would have to like look up their actual like senbatsu history to know. Um, but uh, I guess I, I don't have a lot to say about that. But it's sort of a segue um, into something uh, just about like Saito Chiharu. Uh, so um, I don't know if anyone here knows Kanjo. 
Uh, he's Doyon Subs on Twitter. Uh, and he's a mod actually on Stage 48. Uh, and he does mm. uh, sort of like seasonal uh, Sakamichi polls about like uh, members people like and also like about various opinion things that are easy to answer in a survey. Um, but uh, recently, like in this last month, um, Kanjo did for the first time a, uh, a, a, type, a sort of a mock Sosenkyo. So like he set mm -hmm. up basically just a poll of names and like uh, people were given an infinite number of votes. And so is that just 48, 46? It's just everything? 46. It's just is that 46. everything? 46? Just 46? Um, okay. And so, uh, yeah, so I mean, that was interesting to look at just because, uh, uh, like, the result is of, like, the fans' effort rather than right. everything yeah. else. Um, and Saito Chiharu actually got 40% of the vote. Yee with, bless. Um, oh. Let's see, I have the number somewhere. With 33,000 <laughs> votes. Ooh, that's, damn. That's a preliminary 33, number. 33,000, what? That's a preliminary number. And yeah, yeah, that is... Whoa. <laughs> so yeah, that's 40% of the total vote of all Sakamichi. And the thing is that, like, Kanjo has said that he really doesn't want people botting. Like, uh, okay. having oh. a bot do votes. And so, like, he act or he or she, I'm not sure, actively, like, looks for bot patterns. Like, gets rid of bot votes, but Saito Chiharu is still 40% of the vote, which is crazy. Um, and I actually know people who contributed to those votes, but they'll remain Did you? anonymous. <laughs> how, Did you? how is like your top 10 of top five or whatever? Of this list? Top five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so this is all preliminary. Like the, the sure. poll itself ended today. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, number I... one, Saito Chiharu. Okay. Uh, two Saito Asuka. Okay. Three Harada Aoi. Oh. <laughs> okay. Four, okay. Uh, four Kawata Hina. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Hiragana. Five Nibu Akari. Hiragana. Yeah. And then you have six, you have Koike. Seven, you have Koike. Nishino. Nishino. Eight, you have uh, Yamashita Mizuki. Nine, you have Suzumoto Miyu. Mm. And ten, you have Kobayashi Yui. This is such a weird list, man. Yeah, it's a weird <laughs> list, and um, I I feel like I know the people who are voting specifically for these girls. But like <laughs> maybe maybe the exception of Harada Alley, but I guess that's like that that goes to show just like how small the circle is sometimes of international fans. Um, True. But like thirty three thousand votes is not small. Uh, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> Saito Chiharu has thirty three thousand votes. Number two, Saito Asuka has uh, eleven thousand. Yeah. A third of Chiharu. Oh votes. my god! What the? I wonder if Kia fans are aware of this because I haven't seen this on my timeline at all. But like, I don't. Yeah, it's just a very weird list. It doesn't have like Neru, it doesn't have Hirate, it doesn't have any of like the any of the yeah. top top yeah. girls, right? I mean, you have so. you have Neru at fourteen. Um, yeah. Neru's fourteen. <laughs> fourteen. I let's, where is Techi? She's eleven. So eleven. Yeah. She Techi eleven. Yeah, it's just like a weird list. Like doesn't have Yuka. I didn't say Yuka. Yeah. I think um, actually, I mean, I'm like, happy Mon is there. Go, go. Hanjo's <laughs> Hanjo's like uh, past polls probably give like a mm -hmm. more accurate description of like how international fans think about mm -hmm. uh, Sakamichi, but um, mm -hmm. this one specifically was to emulate Sosenkyo. So okay, that's a bit of interesting stuff. Cool. There. Um, I think we can move on to 48 stuff. Um, <laughs> Yay! You, know, you want to start that off? Yay! Okay, so I'll ask you guys, what do you guys know about this show? Or what do you heard about this show? Which show? Or at Produce 48. Oh, I mean... Like, we're, what we're have gonna, you heard like, about so, it? So Produce recently. 48, we're gonna... I'll just ask... I'll, wait, we're, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, like, push that a little bit to the towards the end, alright? So, I mean, oh, you wanted to cover yeah, stuff about... Yeah. You wanted to cover oh, stuff right, about... Oh, right, okay. Like, yeah. So, um, in... SKE term. So SKE has their single release for their 23rd single, and their center is Matsujirina. It will be released in July 4th. 
Yay. Oh my god, it's Julina. We don't know. Sent her. Wow. Yeah. Talked. <laughs> and then for MNL News, since I do that, um, they had their first handshake today at, I forgot what place it was. I think, I don't think it was their theater, but they had their official handshake. And apparently, they're rare photo cards now because they sold out on one mem- on two members, which is Sal- Sally and Alice, yeah. Captain and the Princess <laughs> of Team L, princess. yeah, and Prote- Pro- yeah, Princess. I'll send you links. Yeah, so she's really pretty. Like, I know. Do you, so, Mina, do you know like do you like follow like how the international groups do? Or, like, MNL. Just MNL or. In general. Yeah. Um. What do you mean? <laughs> like the like, like all the outside Japan groups. Like how much do you know about them, other than MNL? Oh, outside. Yeah. Um. Well, I was a huge fan of JKT because mm-hmm. one of my oshis was Christy, but she graduated sadly. Mm-hmm. Um, because of her friend. And then when I heard my friend texted me saying that MNL was going, she's like, "You should go. You should like audition." And I was like, "Maybe." <laughs> I was like, "Maybe," but I don't live there, so yeah. 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 I'm so, still I'm... updating. Hmm? Sorry? I mean, what were, what were you saying? I forgot what I said. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Right. Like, I just I just wanted to, like, I just get, I guess I just wanted, like, some insight into, like, how, uh, how, like, the whole 48 system works, like, outside Japan. Outside? Yeah. Like... Um, it's pretty similar, but some of it is different in some ways, in aspects. Because, like, if you do Sensenkyo for MNL, it was... I wouldn't say it was messy, but it was kind of messy, mm-hmm. kind of, because like the host messed up under girls and future girls. <laughs> he switched it around, which was confusing because like we were chatting and then I was like, what is he saying? But it's it's kind of the same, I guess. But the, the cool thing is, is that some of the international groups get to go see like the 48 members, mm-hmm. like for MNL, the, t- the Kima 7, the Kima, Kima 7, the top seven people who got voted mm-hmm. in, they're going to, they're flying to Japan and they're staying there for a month okay. to yeah, learn. Cool. Like, yeah. 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 So, I mean, so like, they, so they tried to so thank you. Like, have they had their major debut yet? No. MNLs, yeah. they, during their handshake, they say Aika Kata and Sakura no Hanabiru in Tagalog but I haven't did, heard didn't it do yet. River oh my god they didn't do River <laughs> they didn't do River they did Aikakata though in Tagalog I heard a bit but like the video was kind of like the music was too loud so I couldn't hear them saying but well we'll see we'll see their first single's coming soon they finished they they've been recording so I think they're finished recording so it'll be out soon I'm not nice. sure when they yeah. haven't announced to be continued yeah yeah yeah, I mean, I guess, like, that's just, like, I mean, MNL and, like, BNK and JPT, like, they're all sort of, like, interesting, like, windows In into, way. like, what yeah, yeah, yeah. what could it, be, especially it's, when it's we're, weird... yeah, especially when we're, like, coming up on, like, Produce 48, which has a mm-hmm. ton of hype, um, hype. I, at it's least from my hype. perspective. Uh, a lot of hype. A lot of hype. A lot of hype. And so I guess, yeah, I mean, For if sure. you, I mean, I know you've been waiting to talk about Produce 48, yeah. so uh, I'm, I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you go this now. Oh, yay, yay. Okay, so Produce 48. So they're having, their first episodes released June 15th. I don't know what time, but it was released June 15th. It's mm-hmm. around the same time as SSK, which is going to be crazy because I have to watch two of them. But yeah, it's a survival show with... Korean trainees versus AKB48 members. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so if you check Emmet, like their official YouTube, they have um, eye contact videos and they have like the, the mysterious box like videos you guys can watch so, if you're into. It. Let me just, yes. uh, so, so what they're trying to do is like get and make make one group that is yes. com- yeah that is both korean and akb48 girls which is very weird yeah, to yeah me, at least when then, I, yeah 
when I first heard about it, yeah, I was like, I, I'd like to wait, know, like, this doesn't make sense. Like, yes, I, I okay. thought it was fake. I thought it was fake for first when I heard, like, teasers or, like, oh, this is, like, going to happen. I'm like, no, 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 this okay. ain't going to happen. So, like, it happened I mean, for real. I remember when it was announced. Like, it was coming, it was at Mama's, right? Yeah, yeah it was at Mama's. Yeah, I heard it, so... and I'm like, are you sure about this? <laughs> and so... Because it so... was, because they did uh, Yeah, keep going. Yeah, so, I mean, for the people who don't know, um, AK-48 was invited to the Mama's, which is a mostly... A Korean um, award show, uh, but which like, was already they, weird. They, <laughs> which they like, they <laughs> like to think that they're Pan Asian. Um, yeah, but it's very Korean, um, and so AKB was Korean. invited and they performed. Uh, and sort of after this, uh, it was revealed that um, Mnet would be produced. Mnet, which is a Korean television uh, network, uh, was going to be producing um, a show called Produce Forty Eight. Um, which is actually part of a longer franchise um, known yes. as Produce yeah. 101, uh, which started in about 2015. Uh, the first season was about taking 101 uh, Korean girls Members. from different, uh, different com- entertainment companies um, and trying to create uh, one group of 11 from that. Um, yeah. And I remember back when that started, like there was talk was... in the 48 community about um, sort of like taking from the ideas of like yeah akimoto that's like um, oh yeah, yeah i heard yeah yeah I heard just because like yeah, the, yeah. the idea that all these girls are from different companies um it's like Susan and Kyo. there's sort of like this infight to be in a okay. senbatsu basically yeah yeah i mean it's, yeah that, that's very much like people from j-pop are very used to this kind of format it's just not used to be in a, in a tv show the way that yeah. you know produce one yeah. was right um yeah so i i actually wanted to ask what was your first like reaction when you heard that that thing was happening because my first oh. reaction was what the fuck this yeah. makes no fucking sense. Okay, why? Why is this happening? I don't understand. And, and to be honest, like part of me still does not understand what's going on. Uh, and I, I'll explain why. But like, what was your okay. what, what was your guys' first uh, reaction when you heard you wanna it? Go first, Matthew. Yeah. So I mean, I I was I was hyped from the beginning, right? So I mean, I was I was already kind of primed from the AKB uh, performance mm-hmm. of Mamas, just like. I was like living on the ride, the wave of mm-hmm. the idea of like AKB and like IOI on the same stage, and I was like, mm-hmm. uh, "Oh my god, yeah, I know." <laughs> and so, oh. I mean, and so, like dropping Produce Forty Eight. I mean, it wasn't. I mean, it was a surprise, but it also felt kind of natural, just like the tone that was already set because of that mm-hmm. performance. Um, and so, mm-hmm. I mean, I guess I mean I wasn't really like, "What the fuck is this?" I was, it was like, yeah, I was I, extremely, "What the fuck is?" Not ready. <laughs> I'm, okay. I've been ready ever since. Mm-hmm. Well, for me, I feel like I'm in Matthew's page. Well, cause like we're both we're both into like J-pop and K-pop, so we're kind of used to both sides, kind of. But I feel like it's a good opportunity for K-pop fans not to criticize AKB, cause mm-hmm. a lot. I've I've noticed like ever ever since I've gotten back, everyone's been saying like, oh, who who's this? Like they shouldn't be in here. But I feel like it's like a good exposure for them, like mm. for like everyone about like forty eight. And a lot of people are actually like liking the members. Like a lot of people I've known on Twitter who are like stand Twitter groups have liked Jirena a lot and Sakura. Yeah. Yeah, Milwaukee's and like those people, yeah, the Mio, yeah. Japanese Jesus. Yeah, is insane, yeah. Yeah, like, ever since, if you watch, the first time you've watched the video, like, everyone will say, oh my god, who's this girl who sent her? And I'm like, I know her! You guys don't know her, I know her! Yeah. <laughs> but, like, it, I I feel like it's a good hype, because mm-hmm. I think uh, season two for Produce 101, it was hyped in the beginning, but ever since that one member didn't make it, it hasn't been hyped like the like 101 what's it 101 101 yeah. the group i don't i haven't heard a lot about them yeah, i so, think they're still pretty pretty good yeah so yeah. people who don't yeah, know um produce 101 season two was about uh doing the same guys. thing as the first season but it was oh, voice, guys right um and actually i i haven't watched that season yet i did watch the first season 
Uh, of season. course. But uh, of course, it's girls. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I mean, I'm also I'm also interested in in guy groups too. It's just not yeah. as much. Um, but I I mean I, I I know that energetic is a really popular song. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And so I mean, also to just what were you saying? Were you gonna say something? Hmm? I, I was just gonna say that I think that this show. I don't know, like, just, just going over, like, the what I felt is that I, I didn't feel like this show was made for for the J-pop fans at all. Like, the J-pop mm-hmm. fans weren't, like, super hyped about seeing their idols go to go to Korea. Like, yeah. like historically, Japan and Korea do not like each yeah. other, right? So yeah. just, like, having having the fans, like, under, well, knowing that they're, they're their Oshis were going to like Korea and do all this crazy produce 48 thing. Um, I don't think it was something that they were really hyped. And, you know, as, as the show started filming, you can see that there are a lot of problems. Like, you know, they're oh, always yeah, complaining true. about them not being there or being tired or the girls complaining about how strict it is. And at the same time, I don't think K-pop fans were like, Huh? You know what? We need more J-pop in our K-pop. Yes. Like that, that's not a thing. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. yeah so. That's, that's... so I think that show is for me that I don't care about <laughs> anything. Like really, as long as not, like uh-huh. as long as like Forty Six is not there, I'm okay. <laughs> but like because because I don't I don't know enough about Forty Eight. Yeah. So being having yeah. them over there gives them so much more exposure. Like I can I can get to know them without watching. 20 years of, of AK Bingo, right? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I, for me, yeah. that shows for me, because I don't, I don't give, yeah. Yeah. I don't give a damn, so, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah I mean, that's yeah. for you to, like, get to know girls or whatever, right? Um, but even, like, I don't, I mean, I don't check, like, Korean SNS or, like, I don't read 5chan, but, uh, like, but I, I really feel like it's something for the international fans, like, those are the people I see getting hype about it, right? Yeah. Uh, and then also just, like, I guess from, like, an Akimoto view, like, um, like you sort of see like this growing, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like you yeah, see, yeah, that, you, see, you, see do. you see that like K-pop that's is growing, and, like it's, it's starting to become like a global thing. Um, and I think like this is sort of like his getting his foot in the door, um, and saying he like, hey, I created this thing, and like it makes me money, and it can make me money elsewhere. Uh, and so I mean like yeah, and so, and so like. Uh, just talking about like the other out of Japan 48 groups, um, like I'm wondering how well like the theater system or the 48 system will work in Korea. Just because I know that Mnet has tried something similar before. Like I don't know the details, oh, yeah. but Boys 24 was kind oh, of was really bad. a spinoff of Produce 101, um, and I know. Is that- that- yeah, that's Mnet as well. Yeah, it's Mnet um, produced. And I think the idea behind that was creating a theater, but I don't know that much. Do you know? Um, it, was, it was hyped in the beginning, but it fell apart after. Like, it, I watched it. It wasn't good. <laughs> it wasn't good. That's all I can say. All right, all right. Yeah, because <laughs> what I feel is like, well, the the group is gonna come out of this. It's gonna be a forty eight group. Like people need to understand that it's gonna be a forty eight group. So expect expect <laughs> them like singing River and Itakata or you know Koisuru Fortune Cookie. I don't know. Like that they're gonna <laughs> sing like AKB songs in Korean, right? It's because Akimoto was like, well, instead of creating like KR whatever forty eight, we could just do this like. And that show and get more money and great, you know. Yeah, but, yeah. but I think the weird, I, I don't know, and that's the part I don't understand about this show is that it is still like so Korean, like the structure of yeah. it is Korean, right? So in, in J pop, you see idols that are like more about their personality, and you have like the sh- TV shows that are exactly there to see like. You, you get to like the girls because they're flawed or, you know, they, you, you like, sometimes you like a girl that is not, can't really sing really well or dance really well, but there's something special about her, right? While the Korean structure of Idol is very much like, okay, we want to create you guys to be like the top, the best of the best. Mm-hmm. You're going to be the best singer, the best dancer, the best rapper. Like, 
they have a rapper judge, and none of the AKB members in the history of AKB are rappers. Like, there's no such concept yeah, as that's true. rapping, you know? <laughs> so they, they don't have, like, oh, specific God. roles in the team. It's, it's just, like, to me, it just sounds like it's going to be so weird to watch this show. But I'm hyped because of that, because it's going to be so weird it's that gonna I'm going to laugh. Yeah, I'm going to think, well, it's you, Judina, just spitting some, you know, just throwing yeah. some rocks. The, I mean, the, the entertainment of it is going to come from, like, that gap and, like, that drama. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, I mean, it's also, like, interesting to think just about, like, uh, like 48G. Like, a lot of the training that they do happens on, like, an individual level. Individual, like, yeah. Like, it's stuff that, like, they it's... they put initiative into themselves rather than having to, like, meet a standard. Standard, uh, yeah. And so, and so, I mean, that's not to say that they're like untalented or unskilled, um, yeah, which totally I think like not. a lot of this show is going to sort of bring light to, um, in a way. Yeah. Like, that's, that's, that's the positive spin to it. Like, yeah. on, obviously there's a lot of ways you could spin that negative. Um, yeah. I'm just like worried that, that people would just focus on like, oh my God, you know, she has like 20 years that she, uh, there's no idol in AKB that has been yeah. there for 20 years but uh, oh she's been there for like 10 years and you know mm-hmm. she can't dance or she can't do this right yeah. when when they don't understand really especially international fans they don't understand how how it's structured in Japan right they don't understand yeah. that that stuff is really not important like it's not important if you don't if you're not the best dancer and the best singer right people will still yeah. like you you are and yeah Mm-hmm. I feel like that's why Sakura was center because no one expected it, her to be center because they're like, oh, these Japanese idols aren't that great. They can't dance, you know, you know those those type of fans that think that way. But like with Sakura being there, I feel like it opens a new door for them to be like, oh, okay, let's give it a shot with these with the, the members. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel Sakura is like perfect for for a second, perfect right? yeah yeah because like she is she definitely is like the eye candy that koreans really like right mm-hmm. and uh i don't know i i'm not sure like how decent she is at like singing or dancing yeah, i've seen her like do some kekizaka stuff which is yeah not her best work i guess but um, <laughs> um i think i think it's like i think she's she's the right person because if it was like judina for example that would be like a little bit of judina is almost like two akb right to be to be in in mm-hmm. the, like the first time. center i yeah, think she yeah. could totally be like center as the pro as the program goes like people get to know her and see like how crazy yeah. is like how try hard to do things, you know <laughs> And you know she might she might people might warm up to that, but as the first like center, I think Sakura is just perfect. Sakura's yeah. good, yeah. Yeah, I remember the early days when like a lot of who was participating was just rumors, um, and mm-hmm. like when you hear like so uh, Yuki Rin was one of the names. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, that was crazy. And then you would hear about Jerna and Sakura, and like it was it was I remember it just being crazy like that these girls would even consider going to Korea. Like Girls-Rin, what did they have yeah. to gain? Uh, things like that um and like i was always like in the camp that like we need like lesser known girls here just yeah. so, like they can get exposure that they're not getting in Japan. yes that's what i was um, that's what i wanted to say yeah yeah but then all my yeah, like, joined want... and then yeah i don't know what to feel anymore because i want to support them but i also want to like yeah or like others but like i feel like they should have put <sighs> like it's it was good it was it's okay to put like Jurina and Sakura, but I feel like they should have put like lesser known members. Like, like Chiba Ari was in it. Um, who else was in it? Yeah, like Ch- Chiba Ari isn't. She she never ranked in SSK, but like her being in the show, people started to notice her. So I feel like they should have put like young, like underrated members. That's what. I was underrated they should have put like underrated members i felt like they would have gained more experience than the experienced ones yeah. mm-hmm. like jury Jer- already has like she has she's already well off she's like centers for akb and she centers for sk but i felt like it should have been like other like known members but not they're not really as popular mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the but I think the way that they at least the way that they announced it was that they would apply. So it's not like really. Yeah. Uh, 
I mean, we don't know how far that goes because there there have been talks that you know some of the members were you know forced to go, but like, no, really. But um, yeah, I, 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 I I heard, heard that I heard that you were just open. You're just free to go and apply, right? And and yeah. maybe that's why and, you're not seeing some of these girls. I don't know. And like, yeah, even, even now, like some girls have already decided to leave. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think. I think what was really. I think Yuki didn't left, right? I think I think she did leave, right? Because she was in their first like shots of AKB she was going yeah. to Korea. Like I definitely saw Yuki in there, and then she just she disappeared, dropped. right? So maybe yeah. she just we're gonna see this in like the first episode that she just yeah. like had a mental breakdown. No, and I, feel, I feel like, like, like I, got go. I feel like she was like, more there as like. Shit, I, don't want to... I feel like she was more there as like a representative, like. Hey, these are these girls. Oh, yeah. I could you. Too. Yeah. And now yeah, I'm going it's to originally ninety six members. Yeah. Yeah. That, so, that I mean, could be. Yeah, like just I mean, but also thinking about like less popular members, I think like uh, interesting thing to look at is like Gotomoe, right? Mm-hmm. Like she's mm-hmm. not exactly like a pushed member and she's only like just recently showing up in AK Bingo. Um, but like she's real popular with Koreans now, I think. Um, like yeah. there's actually a, a Korean Sosankyo, right? Um, oh yes this yeah. is the second or third year they've done it I think um, but I mean if you look at it like Goto Moe is number two under soccer number two yeah wow, which is crazy. good it, it's it's opening up a do- the doors for like getting to know about AK, uh, 48 members which is good yeah, I just hope it doesn't blow up in the in the wrong direction. As yeah. well. uh, there's, just, all, there's a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I think international fans are going to be butthurt like forever because they're going to. I mean, some of them are going to be like, okay, you know, it could be 48 is cool. I'm going to like check out these girls. But like, some of them are going to be like, oh, but they don't sing really well. Oh, they can't dance. <laughs> oh, I saw that so well, lot, right? Yeah. And, and, and that's not going to change. Like, oh, but like. That's okay. Yeah. Anis did better. Like, <laughs> oh, the, the the Korean trainees are better than the Japanese. Yeah. Like, that stuff is going to happen, right? And that's the part that I'm not super hyped about. And I mean, it happens, I don't want it happens to both ways, too, right? I mean, the Japanese are going to say stuff about the Koreans. And that's just the way that Korea yeah, that's, that's, not, that's, just, that's just the way. I just wonder how how much Japanese fans are, are into this conversation at all. Because I don't I don't follow, like... Japanese fans that I just follow like Japanese fans that like Kiyakizaka so they obviously don't care about this yeah. but like I wonder how how invested the, the 48 the Japanese 48 fans are in this thing because mm-hmm. yeah because it might be just it, it might end up being just like Koreans and international fans like because the Japanese yeah. fans don't really give a damn right yeah so I mean uh-huh. in about two weeks here I mean like even in less than that uh, like you have so thank you coming up right which is the biggest yep. deal every year <laughs> biggest for deal AKB. um and so i mean it it will it'll be interesting to see um if any of this sort of pre-show stuff has affected that in any way like it's not likely just because uh, the show itself won't I air don't think until so. the day before um i don't think so yeah yeah i mean yeah definitely like, like next, next year maybe yeah yeah i feel like the effect of 488 and then SSK, I don't think it. I don't think it makes a huge difference, mm-hmm. honestly. In my opinion, if you look at the premium ranks, didn't change anything. Yeah. <laughs> didn't so, change anything. So I mean, uh, we're coming up on an hour here, but I think we should like um, just to, like cap things off. Like, uh, so prelims just happened for Sosankyo, right? Um, and uh, I I hear that there's. Uh, a shock factor to it. Um, I don't pay t- enough, close mm. enough attention to Sosankyo ranks to know, uh, or the preliminaries to know, like how preliminaries affect the actual ranks. Um, do you have anything to say, Mia? Um, as I heard from like the servers I'm in, uh, I heard like most of the members that are like high rank, they didn't rank as high. Mm-hmm. Like if you look at Yui Yui, from AKB um, Team 8. I think she was ranked, what was it, 40? I think she's ranked for even Yuhan. Yuhan also didn't rank as high. I think she's 21. And like the gap between jury <laughs> top one and top two, like the gap between them is huge. But I feel like the 
the um, the hardcore fans aren't they haven't voted yet. That's yeah. what I felt. That's yeah. what I feel like they yeah. haven't they they haven't pushed it yet. Like yeah, that's 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 usually if the you case, listen, isn't it? like because yeah. I mean yeah. even last like, year Ogino Yuka last year Yuka yeah was up there. She was was she not yeah. number one last year for prelims too? Yeah. So and then she wound up being third. Yeah. So like they haven't the push hasn't started yet. <laughs> it should come up soon. So they yeah. kind of but it like, is already like every year after yeah, they still vote year. after prelim so you have like at least they, some shock yeah. right there's like there's still a gap there's like a huge gap for you guys for like the hardcore fans to vote still so premiums change like some of the members last year like you thought they would rank they didn't rank mm-hmm. so anything can happen so but I'm like sure. some people people are hyping during us first though and I'm scared. I'm scared as heck. Because oh, I feel what? like if she doesn't rank this year... She's going to grad? I don't know. I don't want her to grad. <laughs> Man, that's my Kimo Oshi. I can't. Like, but, like, they're hyping it so hard. They're like, she's going to be first. She's going to be first. I, I heard that about Sakura, too. So there yeah, you know. <laughs> Sakura, too. Also, I'm like, like, you're pushing these girls to their limit. Like, they they want they want first now. Like, I don't know. Yeah. So um, I think I, I mean I guess it's just I'll I'll say this because it's kind of interesting. Um, I actually uh, put in a bunch of numbers for Sosankyo and came up with like predictive models. Oh yeah, Ooh, for how yes, yes. Sosankyo is going to work out. Please. Um, and I don't want to get yeah, too yeah. much into detail on it just because I think we can continue this um, in more detail next week, especially when we have. Even Shana. though it's very detailed. Yeah. Detailed. <laughs> well, we'll have, Scratches we'll have, the surface. Yeah, we'll have share in next week. Hopefully, um, and she, she'll she'll know a lot about uh, Sosankyo and sort of the history you. and things like yeah. that. Um, but I mean, I, I I'll say this: like in the predictive models, Ogino Yuka is number one, um, mm-hmm. just because of like her crazy jump from jump, 2016 yeah. to 2017. Like you can't like mm-hmm. when it's just you the Sosankyo numbers being the only variables. Like the computer is not going to say anything else other than Ogino yeah. Yuka is number one. Um, we'll see. But uh, whether Jurna or Sakura wins, um, I'll keep that to myself. That's until up next week. to the fans. They have to push. They have to push votes. That's all. Yeah. I already put in votes. I'm I'm poor already. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we just have to wait. Did we lose? I I, I think oh. I lost you guys. Right? Did we drop? Oh. oh. <laughs> Did not. Oh, okay. Okay. So um, I guess Did I just want to ask um if. Either of you have some sort of like a closing statements um, at all? Um, things you want to mention? Marcy, do you want to go first? Hirata Yurina, please come back. <laughs> Kanji needs you. <laughs> Kanji needs you. Kanji, yeah. Kanji needs you. They need to, the push. They need, they need, they need like some push. energy of some sort. I mean, I know you're like not the most energetic person lately, but like just having you around would be great. Just, just give us something, girl. Like, please come back. <laughs> we need, we need, we need you. Yeah. Need you also, I mean, I mean, I mean. Eventually, you're gonna need a Kiyaki that can survive without Tachi, right? Yeah. Well, they they proven. I think they've proven. I, I don't know. Like, I I really like the way that they did the concert with Dagirate, like the second the second anniversary concert. I think they needed that. I think people were judging them for not doing it, and then. They did it, and I think they can understand a little bit more. At least that's what all the members have been saying. Like uh, they understand a little bit more the pressure of being center and what Hirate has been going through. So I think Techi is gonna come back to an environment that is very different. Like it's yeah. probably way more supportive, right? So I, I'm less worried about that, but definitely they they need. They they need to show that they they can survive without Hirate, and I think they yeah. they kind they pretty much proved that they can. Yeah. Uh, but she's still part of Kiyakizaka. She's still a very important part of Kiyakizaka. So it's very weird not to see her, but listen to her voice every time they perform because they don't cut her voice from <laughs> yeah. the tracks, right? Um, I honestly am ready to see a new center. But yeah, same. I'm waiting. Uh, I, I do think that the next center might be Hirate just because she needs to, you know, come back. Yeah. 
and then just give it to Paul. Just give Kobayashi Yui. Just give give it to her. Like right. she she deserves it. Mina, do you have anything yeah. to say? Maybe about produce what you yeah. or is anything? Um. <laughs> uh. If you're, I'd say, if you're getting into PD48, I feel like knowing the Korean members would be good idea because a lot of fan, a lot of international fans are hyping with interactions between them, as I've mm-hmm. seen with photos and videos. And then for SSK, ah, uh, just so watch everything Juliana <laughs> did in that show because it's amazing already. Everything Juliana did is already yeah, yeah. Just, just what Juliana did and Jury did, like with the interactions with the Korean fans, everyone's hyping about that. Like they're saying, like, oh my god, power couple, girlfriends. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. for SSK, um, yeah, please watch it. Yeah. Uh, if you guys have money, vote. If not, <laughs> you know, just just pray your Oshi makes it. Like yeah. I just, I I pray that like. BNK, I, I really like BNK. I wish, I hope BNK will rank. I feel like they will rank, and I will be like really hyped for them. Yeah, I mean for BNK, I I feel like maybe their vote might be kind of split. Um, yeah, that's but, how I feel too. Uh, yeah, but like and... if one of them makes it, it's it's a good push for BNK into like the light of getting to know Japan. Yeah. Or the MM- yeah. yeah, we can we can get we can definitely get into more of that next week. Um, I guess I can also just add in for people who might be interested in Pretty Sporty. Like uh, the great thing about Koreans is like their suburbs are always active. Like you can get mm-hmm. so much content all the time. Um, everything that Pretty Sporty has released, uh, I this think, has been styled good. by Yopseo. Yeah. Um, so if you and want to and out, in different uh, languages too, because yeah. like if you if you if you're into like. I don't know, like a random ass language, you can probably get that. Because I know yeah. that there's like Portuguese subs yeah. already from. Like, oh my god, it's and, crazy. Yeah. Those suburbs. And like, it's suburbs cool. are I mean, it's cool thing about like this whole international move, just because, because like, even in AKB, like it being the world Simbatsu, um, like, even like the Simbatsu campaign videos have um, translations in the descriptions, mm-hmm. the official videos. Yeah. That's cool too. Um, so I guess we're going to wrap stuff up here. Um, so. Next week, uh, we're going to be going more into um, 48, uh, Produce 48 and uh, the Sosankyo, just because both of thi- both, the- both those things um, will be happening up. in the week after. Uh, so uh, we'll, be- we'll be having Sharon, a friend of ours who knows a lot. Um, uh, and so you won't be stuck with uh, nobodies like us. Who- <laughs> you yeah. aren't exactly you like, super Austria, knowledgeable about a lot of things. Um, just but, Mar is asking random questions like, "What is this?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, asking questions is good. So I mean, but if you enjoyed this, um, uh, we're going to be trying to do this uh, kind of weekly. Uh, we'll have um, live shows probably every Sunday, I think, um, unless schedules are weird. Um, and then we'll try to have VODs available or audio available um, on the following Monday or Tuesday. Uh, mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I mean, that's it for right now, I think. Um, this is our first episode. I mean, uh, neither, none of us have actually even talked that much prior to the recording this. So, <laughs> yes, <laughs> so uh, like, this is the... Sorry, it's awkward. Like, before, the, before this recording, um, the amount of time that the three of us have spent talking together is, like, a minute. So yes, yeah. So Is I mean, so I I think so I think we did a pretty good job today at least. Um, but uh, the hope is that we improve. Um, and yeah, we hope that uh, tweet at us. Tweet yeah, at us. Least. Tell us that you hate us or do you love us. <laughs> our yeah. twitters are below. Yeah, all below. all of our twitters are below. Um, yeah. yeah, follow every follow the both of them. They're good. Yeah, I follow both of you. I only. She doesn't know those. who I. <laughs> I'm really sorry, uh, Mina. She she does great content. <laughs> I like how Mina like too. points in different directions, but never at the right person. Wait, I don't know. Yeah, like, it should be like this. Is it like this? 